Hey guys, welcome to Quinian's Budget Crafts. So I don't have a very active imagination. I like to ask people for ideas. This time it was make something useful, but don't spend more than five dollars. All right, well let's make a paint rack. As far as the overall size goes, you can do whatever you want. Mine's more or less like two feet by a foot and a half, about the same as the mat here, a little bit less. For the spacing on the holes, it's about an inch and three quarters between each center point. For the actual hole itself, I'm going to use a hole saw, and it's a 1 and 3 eighths. You can use whatever drill bit you've got that's that size, that's the only one I have. Just make sure that when you put your grid on here to put your holes in, that you leave some space on either side to put some boards to screw the whole thing together. I'm going to be using 2 by 2 so I wanted to leave myself a good 2 inches. As far as the board I'm using, here is the manufacturer sticker. On the shelf in Home Depot, this is just simply labeled hardboard. Same stuff I was using to make those mini bases. This time on the hole saw, I am actually going to use the centering bit because I don't want this thing wandering around on me. So I won't be able to use the drill press on this. I'm going to have to use the hand drill. And because of where my cameras are, I can't take them with me. But you know how holes are drilled. That's kind of boring to watch anyway. We're going to need two of these that have the holes in them, so go ahead and stack two of them together and clamp them down real good. Take them out and drill them, and there you go. Now this is very rough. I could have cleaned it up first, but I wanted you to see that this is pretty rough. As far as the spacing goes, I'm going to be using these 2x2s two as the skeleton, or whatever you call it, the framework inside in between the boards. You can see it fits the bottle pretty much perfect. So you're going to want to cut out a few of those. My suggestion would be to just cut four of them, whatever length the longest length of your thing is, or depending on how you want to orient it. I actually didn't have as much of this type of board laying around as I thought I did, so I ended up doing four small chunks, which actually that's okay. I don't really mind if this is skeletonized a little bit. Now to clean up the roughness on this, you could try to use something sharp and carve around it, sort of how I did on the mini bases. What would work better is one of those giant burr balls like you could get for a Dremel, but they're really big. They're meant for a drill. I don't have one of those, but with a little bit of redneck engineering, I can take one of these wooden balls and stick some sandpaper to it, and there you go. Laugh all you want. This is working. Just go ahead and clean up the whole thing. I only did this to one face of one board, and then for the rest of it, I just sanded it with a piece of sandpaper wrapped around one of my blocks of wood there. It worked fine. Now to attach the boards to the other boards, you can use screws, but this wood is pretty weak and the screws could split it and that's a lot of pilot holes to drill and I don't want to do that. So instead, I'm going to use a brad nailer. Now my particular Sherbonder staple gun brad nailer thing doesn't want to push the brad all the way through because I guess it's a little too hard. So you do have to hammer it just to finish it off a little bit, but that'll be fine. But before you assemble it, go ahead and paint the whole thing whatever color you're going to do. I wanted to do mine in black. If you're going the skeletonized route like I am, go ahead and put those on first. You just put the boards down, put a few brad nails, hammer them in the rest of the way so they're nice and flat. If you didn't paint the back of your backing, like me, that's alright. Just put the side you did paint forward and flip it over. Got some strange lines where the things were sitting on it when I painted them, but it's fine. You won't see it. Go ahead and lay your next board on top of that. Put your brad nails in. And now before you go ahead and put the other boards on, stack your boards that have the holes in them and make sure that you've got them lined up properly. I don't care how careful you are. Unless you're using a machine, these will not be the exact same anyway except for how they were when they were clamped. So make sure that they're exactly the same and put a little mark somewhere that you can find later. Go ahead and put your two long boards on there. These I will actually screw on. I'm going to use a couple of these deck screws here. But drill a pilot hole first because like I said, these boards are kind of weak and they'll split. You only need one screw on each board to hold them together. And go ahead and put that right in the center of the little skeletonized board below it. That way you know where it is when you're putting your brad nails in the other side. And then go ahead and put your other board on there. Make sure that you still have the marks that line up properly. 
You can double check and make sure that a bottle is going to fit. And then just tack it on with some brad nails. I put one on each end, keeping in mind that my screw is in the middle. And if you don't like the shiny little brad heads, you can always paint those black if you want to. Or whatever color you made your rack. I was originally going to stand it up straight like this and change my mind. I kind of like it better sideways. So then bring over all your paints and then uh, start putting them in there. The fit is a little bit tight right now, but it's also still kind of swollen. That paint's not completely dry yet, so this will be easier to use the more you use it. Sorting out paints is boring, so we'll just skip ahead real quick. There we go. Got all my paint in there. That's the regular paints up top, and then here's my color shift and the glitter and the metallics and other weird stuff. My little bottles of glue are on the bottom right there. And if you have these big ones, you can always stack them up top. So a little bit labor intensive, but there you go. A paint rack for the two ounce paint bottles for less than five bucks. The two by two is a eight foot long stick. It costs like two dollars. And then the hardboard is like two or three bucks at Home Depot. Of course, the speech, if you guys would like to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon or Coffee. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.